Eastern Cape headquarters in King Williamstown to discuss the public protector's report. The damning report has fingered a number of politicians, including Premier Pumula Maswale, saying the provincial government has misappropriated about 300 million rand during the preparations for former President Nelson Mandela's funeral in December of 2013. The NCS since summoned all implicated leaders to the meeting, but Premier Maswale had not showed up. But our reporter, Busiswe Jimson, is at Galata House, where the meeting is convening, and she joins us with a live update. Busiswe, a very good afternoon to you. Has Maswale finally showed up to answer to these allegations? And maybe tell us more about what the exact findings and charges have been leveled against Hubusi. Very good afternoon indeed, Alicia. And uh, since this morning at 9 o'clock, when the Premier Pumulu Maswala was expected to arrive here, he has not been seen uh, since. Um, I, it is safe to say that he did not attend the meeting. Uh, some say uh, this would seem like Maswale defying the NPEC once again. Remember, Alicia, he has never attended a single meeting that has been convened or was convened by the new provincial executive committee. Now, this day was the day where uh, the provincial secretary, while speaking to us over the weekend, said Premier has agreed that he will attend the meeting and they expect him to be here to answer about uh, developments leading up to that funeral. But up until this point, the meeting has now closed. He was not part of the meeting. Fortunately, Alicia, we were able to grab uh, the provincial secretary, Lulama Ngokaitobi, who says the premier did tell them that uh, unfortunately he could not attend as he was consulting his lawyers regarding the matter and how best uh, they, he does in res responding to the public protector's res uh, report and uh, looking at the report after he welcomed the report. You'd remember that a few weeks ago he did say to my colleague Zimkita Manglinana that the money actually that was spent was 22 million. But to put it out there, Alicia, the involvement of Premier Maswale in the whole saga was that sum of 250,000 rands was transferred to his personal bank account whilst he was still the MEC of Economic Development back then. But he since said the money must be reversed. He does not want it into his account. But the public protector said it was inappropriate that the money in the first place was deposited into his account. We did see other officials. We include the Buffalo City Mayor Zuki Swangita. Uh, we did see ANC councillor uh, Mamu Komba, who was part of the meeting. They are part of the people who were implicated. And in fact, both of them are the people who are facing criminal charges in the East London Magistrates Court regarding the saga facing fraud and corruption charges. Alicia. Also, who then, uh, who is chairing this meeting? And tell us what happens with the resolutions or recommendations that will be taken here, because we do understand the public protector has already made a ruling. So why is the ANC meeting? Are they going to enforce the public protector's findings on the members? The provincial chairperson, Oscar Mabuyano, was chairing the meeting alongside with the provincial secretary who briefed us, the media, in terms of what they decided on. Because you remember, when the report was released, they said they need to sit down as the executive to discuss mm -hmm. and come up with a solid plan on what to do. They are saying, Alicia, that they want the recommendations are set out by the public protector to be followed. That's the resolutions that have, de that have decided on. Secondly, they want an ad hoc committee to be formed as soon as possible to investigate the matter. In fact, to go as far as to subpoena individuals that are involved in the saga to get answers to them, to investigate, saying that there are individuals who are not facing criminal charges in the, magis in the East London Magistrates Court, yeah. but do have some involvement in the saga. So they want the other committee to subpoena those to actually get to the bottom of things. But Alicia, a biggest concern or an outcry that has been uh, levering around people accusing the ANC of awarding corruption instead of punishing it yeah. is that instead of removing the Buffalo City, the top officials in East London, they read 
deployed them to key other strategic uh, positions. The mayor going to the NCOP, the deputy mayor going to the provincial legislature. But the provincial secretary says because this matter is still before the courts and it has not been concluded, theirs is to remove them from the face of the public, to remove them from local government yeah. whilst they are still uh, continuing with the investigation. In fact, saying, Alicia, that from our now on we will see uh, them putting their money where their mouth is, they will be uh, implementing punishable measures against those who continue to, to use or misuse public funds. Whether or not that will happen or how they plan to do that is something that remains to be seen. But just a few weeks ago, Alicia, the provincial secretary Ngokai Tobi wrote to a statement uh, to MEC uh, Nancy Sikwai uh, following the failed launch of the 16 days of activism in uh, Nelson Mandela yeah. Bay, saying that they want her to answer as to why she should not pop out money from her own pocket uh, following the failure mm. to mm. produce a vibrant launch of the 16 days of activism. Now, some say that would be uh, a step to a direction where the executive is saying no to corruption, yeah. no to misuse of public funds. But some say this is all just factions at play because you would remember MEC Sikwai is seen as aligned with uh, Premier Pumula yeah. Maswale yeah. and the group that says it does not recognize the current the PGC. PGC. So yeah. we will continue to monitor the developments to see uh, exactly what they plan to do with all these developments and if that ad hoc committee will produce any fruitful uh, results. All right, but Busi, before I let you go, a very quick one. I mean, with all these lots of, of court action taking place between the NC and its members, does this have any bearing on the upcoming election? conference, particularly when it comes to uh, this case of the misappropriation of funds in, in the Eastern Cape. Interesting that you should mention uh, the court case that have been at play in the province, Alicia, because this right now is the eve of the court judgment yeah. in Grahamstown. The High Court in Grahamstown is expected uh, to, to, to make a judgment on the legitimacy of the provincial executive committee mm. tomorrow and but uh, the provincial executive was saying that that does not have any uh dire effect on the province because it is branches who made their nominations but that is yet to be seen because we know that the group that says it does not recognize the current structure and those who took the executive to court they want it to be uh they want there to be a provincial task team going to the National Congress. Yeah. You also know that there's still another report that is yet to be tabled to the NEC to decide on the legitimacy of the provincial structure in the province. And now you would, one would assume that the court case would have a much powerful role in deciding mm -hmm. uh, as to if proper channels were followed. But the provincial executive, Alicia, is saying they are confident that they're going to win the court case, that they're going to be vindicated because they did everything according to, to the, the constitution book, yeah. of the ANC. Bose, thank you so much. We'll definitely touch base with you as of course those developments become available to us that's Musisue Jameson alive to us right outside Galata House in the Eastern Cape